Hello, my name is Christoph Conrads and I'm a technical evangelist with Adobe. In this video, I will introduce you to the new data centric features of Flash Builder 4, specifically when working with a Java backend. So I will go ahead and create a new project that I will call Demo. I will choose J2E as my application server type and then place the yes, click next. And then I will have to provide the location of my Blaze DS installation and click Validate Configuration and Finish. In the new Data Services panel of Flash Builder 4, I will then click Connect to Data Service and choose Blaze DS as my service type. I will be presented with a list of destinations defined in my Blaze DS installation and I will choose Contact Service and click Finish. The contact service appears in the data services panel along with all the public methods available in that service. Flash Builder also generated value objects related to that service and a service stub or service proxy that allows me to uh, invoke uh, these methods. Now let's go ahead and create a simple application using this service. I will provide my application with a horizontal layout and then I will drop a data grid on the design view. Provide that data grid with some room and now I would like to populate the data grid with a list of contacts. All I have to do is to take the find all method and simply drop it on the data grid and click OK. At this point, I can save the application and run it. And I have a data grid populated with a list of contacts provided by my remote service. Let's make the application slightly more interesting. I'll go in the outline, select that application, provide it with a control bar. In that control bar, I will add a text input field and then a button that I will label search. Now when the user will click that button I want to invoke the find by name method to display only the, the contacts matching what the user will type in that text input field. So let's go ahead and right click the search button and select generate service call and then the find by name method and click OK. As you can see, an event handler is generated for that button. The find by name method is invoked on contact service and the only thing I need to provide is the argument for the find by name method. So I will provide key.text assuming that the text input field that we added to the control bar is called key. So now I can go back to the design view take the find by name method and drop it to the data grid. I'm warned that the data grid is already bound, that's fine. Now I'll say that I want to bind it to an existing call result, the result of the find by name method invocation. And I will click OK. And now I can run that application Initially, the data grid is going to be empty and I can start searching for employees, for instance, with an E in their name or a C or a CH and you see that the search is working as expected. So the last thing I will do is provide my application with a details form to edit uh, the information about my contacts. So I'll switch back to Flash Builder and right click the data grid and select generate details form. I will choose master detail, make sure that the form is editable, click next. I can select which uh, fields will actually uh, be included in the form and then click finish. And the form should appear to the right of the data grid here and I will make sure that it has uh, some room as well. So let's specify 100%, uh, 100%. And now I save the application, run it again. And we should have a nice, nice master detail. I uh, will do a search 
and now I'm able to edit the different contacts in my application. So the new data-centric features of Flash Builder 4 make it really easy to work with services in Flash Builder.